Wow, an Oscar Wilde quote. Hey guys, my name is Zincetic, with me is Blank Tester, and hey. welcome to BMX Triple X. Did they really just open this game with an Oscar Wilde quote? Yeah, yeah. An Oscar Wilde quote that... About temptation. About temptation, about yielding to it. Um, That's, um... Let me give some background on BMX Triple X. BMX Triple X is quite an infamous game in extreme sports. Because, basically, you remember the Dave Mira series? Uh-huh! Dave Mira, kind of popular, people played it. Yeah, you know, yeah, It was pretty average, but people enjoyed it. This game was set to be Dave Mira 3. When like, either, they were developing this developing, as Dave yeah, Mira's. I mean, this is Z-Axis, the same developers. When either Z-Axis or Acclaim, the publishers, decided, you know what, let's take this game in a raunchy, crude, and lewd direction. These two characters were just named Skeeter and Nutter. Yeah. And um, that's an Amish guy. Though, you know, you could pick custom riders, so we're going to be picking one of those. Mm. And, you know, the game wants you to... Uh, Oh wow! To uh, to to make the ultimate slut. That really says something. bitch. Yeah, you can make a you can make a tramp stamp that says bitch. Can you can't choose the what it says on the tramp stamp? Uh, it has like one or two options. Oh, I see. But so this yeah. is the one you created. Yeah, yeah. I've already decked this character out, but you know they want you to make like you know some some porn star in a schoolgirl outfit, and then every time she does a Superman, you can see a per scalp. But you know what? Oh, they're not gonna try, so I'm not gonna try. This is going to be the adventures of Bitch Pussy. Bitch Pussy. Yeah. Yes. They're not going to try, I'm not going to try. So anyway, yeah, they decided to take this game in a crude, lewd direction, fill this game full of, a, you know, edgy humor, dick jokes, stereotypes. Can you put facial hair on a chick? You can put a mustache on, yes. Nice. Uh, um, and Dave Mira said, no. You know yeah, what? Dave no, Mira's, I'm not going to do this. Dave Mira was too respectable to... to I take my it. name off the game, and you know what? All the other pros... In the previous Dave Mira's said the same thing, and all the other like bike brands and everything said the same thing. So there was so they no, rebranded this. There was no sponsorship in this game. This game basically tries to sell itself. Did you just of, make her a chunky monkey? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I you know, you should have hopefully you noted. She wasn't my gal until that. Hopefully you noted all of the bike model names. You know we're riding the Biznatch bike to start yeah. out with. Z axis so, Y. Yeah, this game um, basically tried to sell itself off of how you know, edgy how it raunchy is. and edgy it is, and uh, people didn't buy. Yeah. Oh, nobody mm. wanted to buy a game called BM Mac Quadruple X. <laughs> and actually, I'm playing the PS2 version. The Xbox and GameCube versions are apparently even raunchier. Mm. The PS2 version had to tone itself down to even be released. Wow. Like they took all the nudity out. There was nudity. Yeah. So, is this a rated M game? It's a rated M, yeah. Actually, I cannot stream this game on Twitch. This game is in just the, the list of banned games from streaming. Wow. Which they pretty much just banned all the AO games as a catch-all. But I guess this game got included in that. So, so this game needed to be toned down to get released on PS2. Yeah. Manhunt gets released on PS2 anyways. Yeah. Okay. So, just yeah. making sure. Um... So, but, yeah, so, uh, now that we're about to get into gameplay, let's talk about the gameplay. Do you remember Dave Mira 2? Uh, vaguely, yes. This game, Dave, this game uses the Dave Mira 2 engine, and is basically Dave Mira 2.5. Oh, okay, so it's just minor modifications. So all the benefits from the Dave Mira 2 system, all the downsides, with a few additions. Now, in the Z-axis timeline, when did they make this relative to Aggressive Inline and Dave Mira? They put out, uh, this game came out in 2002, uh -huh. late 2002, Aggressive Inline came out mid-2002, so... Okay, so they probably had two teams working on Yeah, this. they had two teams. The A team was probably Aggressive Inline, the B team was definitely this. Okay, so this is not as good. Not, not as good. This game is bad. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, well... I didn't really like Dave Mira 2 because the, you know, the physics systems would toss you around and you crash on random crap. And this mm. game is going to be just like that. Um, really quick, I'm going to start out... These levels are huge. I'm going to start out each level by basically riding around it a bit, showing it off before I get into the goals. I mean, there's a lot to cover in this first episode. Um, you looked at the goals as I showed them off. Each level is going to have some level-specific goals. Some goals where you need to do one to unlock the next one, to unlock the next one. Or just basic tricking or combo goals like that. 
I got a hot salty nut sack here. Really? Did yeah. Did he just say I've got a hot salty nut sack yeah. here? Um. Oh, we're about to. Uh. We're, though we're about to start our first level specific goal. Shabby doody on the happy crack you fellow man happy dogs abused I ain't flipping aw oh, man I was all good Cash white the great Cash white the great Uh as someone who's actually fluent in incoherent coot gibberish I can yeah. say that those those subtitles were a little bit inaccurate. Mm, only a little bit? Yeah, he was a lot more racist than those subtitles made it seem. So yeah, so pretty much it's the Dave Mir 2 engine, but they added Flatland. Do you oh. remember from Matt Hoffman yes. 2, the Flatland system? You were pulling crazy tricks. Yeah, I loved Flatland. Yeah, so they've got it in this game. Uh, you pretty much do a manual or a nose manual, then push a direction and the circle button on PS2, and it'll do a Flatland. Also, it sounds like the only two tracks I've heard in this game so far are pretty good. Yeah, we'll talk about music after this. I think the only way that joke could have gone better is if <laughs> if he had stared at the camera for longer and then it had just stayed looking at him shaking around that pipe. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're going to get. Dick jokes, innuendo, whatever. Screaming? Yeah. Saliva? Saliva, yeah. So, real quick, um, well actually, let me quickly explain this challenge. Oh. Uh, each level has a challenge where you have to collect people... Or Are they always hookers? For, no, they're not always hookers. Okay. Collect people from around the level and deliver them to one specific location. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so this one, there's going to be five hookers thrown throughout the level, and you collect them and you bring them back to the motel. Was that their pimp? Yeah, that was a pimp. Was that a pimp or their pimp? Their pimp. Okay. So, um, yeah, music. I mean, the music in this game consists of... Some radio rock tracks, some, some rap, metal, some rap tracks, some old '80s tracks. You got a Motley Crue song in here, so pretty standard soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. Seems like. Nope. Oh, nope. Uh, oh, so you have to. One thing about this challenge is you gotta do it without crashing. Which they also called you a jive turkey. That, that was my fault. You know, I, I getting called a jive turkey was your fault. <laughs> crashing was my fault. Um, but so th this game operates kind of like aggressive inline does in that you don't have a time limit per se in the level. Okay. Well, you know, the, the way it operates is you have a health bar on the right. Uh -huh. And as you crash and such, your health will go down. As you do challenges, your health will get refilled. Okay. And you end the level basically when you've run out of health. When you die. Yeah, when you die. So while the challenges have time limits, when you're just riding around, there's no time limit. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But, I, guess um, that, I guess that's all right, yeah. But yeah, so what they brought from Dave Mir 2 is the the really kind of extensive involved in-depth tricking system. Mm -hmm. You have a bunch of tricks, you have a bunch of modifiers. You can do almost any modifier for almost any trick. It actually has a lot of combinations. Okay. Um what they also brought from Dave Mir 2, that kind of crappy physics system, mm -hmm. the possibility to crash on almost anything, mm -hmm. which has a problem. Oh, they also did add a balance bar though. Oh, Dave okay. Mira 2 didn't have a balance bar, it was just visual. And I talked about the balancing in Dave Mira, the yeah. Dave Mira series. It's kind of a weird balancing system, but I actually like it, but it'll take words to explain, so I yeah, don't know really why this now. This, I don't think I've ever seen a balance meter that looks like that. Yeah, you know what? I'll try to explain. Um, in most games, when you start to lose your balance, you just start to flail more wildly to the left or the right. Sure. In this game, you'll kind of pick a side, basically, like... If you start to fall over to the left, mm -hmm. it'll be easier to keep going to the left and tougher to correct to the right. And that's actually better because, you know, as you try to correct back and forth, it'll you'll stay on one section of the balance bar rather than swinging wildly the entire way. Oh, I way. see, yeah. So, actually, you'll reach a point where even though you're pulling as far as you can in one direction, you'll the bar will never keep going over there. Mm. So you can reach a point where you can just 
hold on one side and technically keep your balance for another like five seconds. Oh, that's it's nice. really good. I like it actually. Oh, that's cool. The the UI looks a little odd though. Yeah, I, I don't get why it's like a half circle. With, like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, but you know we just let, let this building burn. We let for a the while. fire burn for a while, but we came back. Damn it! I can't get it up. You know what I mean. Hey, hey, you! You want to be a hero? Go open a pipe from the reserve in that building over there. You gotta hit all three switches. Move it. I'm surprised he didn't say something like, "Oh, you gotta get me, you know, a big blue pill." You get me dripping wet or some yeah. shit like that. Something like that. Yeah. Where the hell was I going? I, oh, where the hell was he going? Where the hell was he going? Yeah, so you have uh, you have manual tricks on the ground, you have grinds, you have air tricks, but when you're in the air, you can also use the X button to like wall ride or fast plant okay. or stuff like that. So it sounds like if, if people liked the Dave Mira system, if they liked Dave yeah. Mira as a game, and they feel like it holds up still. Like, you know, yeah. sometimes you have nostalgia and you go back and it's yeah. not as good, but I mean, like, if you still, if you go back and play Dave Mira 2 and you like that... Then you should uh, BMX Triple X is the same exact gameplay. Yeah. Just put in this package of really edgy, really edgy, really immature anything. And I, I mean, you know, we have to look at the positives and the negatives. Oh, here, here's some of the negatives. You know, when I'm trying to stop, mm. holy shit, you can't stop. Mm. When you're trying to do some fine, you know, fine tuning work, right? It's kind of hard to do that because you have so much inertia. Yeah, so much inertia. Whoa. Like, I just want to stop and turn around. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to just fly all over the place yeah. and grind on shit? Um, it's gonna be glaringly obvious that they did not have playtesters. Mm. Some challenges, I mean, I know what to do. It's the first time, you might not know what to do. Oh, yeah. I, uh, ended up jumping on one I already jumped on, but... Oh. They expect you to know where to go. They expect you to know what they mean on some of the challenges when you might not. Oh, I see. Um, Maybe not such great conveyance. Con not There's not a retry button as soon as you fail. That's yeah, so you have to write back. Yeah, you can't get it up. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I know where to go, so you're not going to see that problem from my videos. But, you know, if you see the game cheap, pick it up and try to play blind and wonder... Where the hell you're Relatively going so blind. sometimes. I mean, these levels are huge. Yeah. Which carried over from uh, Dave Mirror 2. Those yeah. were pretty huge levels. And one of the challenges in each level is to do all 20 gaps. Mm -hmm. Each level has 20 gaps. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that challenge. Okay. Because they don't tell you where the gaps are, and there's, you know, there's no walkthrough that shows you them, but... Hmm. Well, that was odd. I don't know. I mean, that definitely reminded me of Aggressive Inline. Yeah. So, but it was still weird. There's, you know, some level interaction. That challenge actually drained the pool, and look at that. It looks like some handlebars you can pick up. Yeah. Um, the way you get new bikes in this game is you collect bike parts hidden throughout the levels. Hmm. And when you get a full set of parts, you unlock a new bike. Now, do they have that one Flowbot song so that you can unlock bikes without handlebars? <laughs> no, <laughs> this game came out before that. Shit. Yeah, so... Shit. I'm gonna collect a few of those and do a few of the challenges. Um, there are four bike parts throughout each level, okay. so it'll be until level two when I get a new bike. Is it like... It should be, actually. When we get to level two, you'll see that... I don't know, I don't get a new bike, but that's further down the road. Is it like a uh, handlebar, frame, Handlebar, sporks, frame, uh, seat... Did you say sporks? Uh, oh I think no. you mean spokes. Spokes, yes. yes. Sporks! <laughs> yeah. Um, so some challenges aren't timed, you just need to do them whenever, like... Okay. There were some shoelaces thrown up around a telephone pole. I guess we're on the set of holes now. Yeah. So, you have to knock down all the shoes by grinding the wires. I grinded most of them, but missed this one, but it's not gonna give me a timer, I just have to get up yeah, there eventually. Yeah, I, I have, I actually, 
uh, have an OC, a, uh, uh, a a holes OC. Yeah. Uh, it's a girl who goes yeah. to Camp Green Lake. Her name is Bitch Pussy. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. She has a tramp stamp that says bitch. Yeah. She has black and yellow leg warmers. She actually has, uh, yeah, she has Bumblebee leg warmers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can skitch on things in this game. It doesn't give you any points, and you pretty much only have to do it for this challenge. So, so you don't skitch on an airplane? No. Damn. I guess it would have been kind of repetitive to yeah. do that twice in a... Can so, you go first person? Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't when riding, but you can stop and look around. Okay. Hey, um, look, there's a guy driving around. Yeah. Did I leave the oven on? Did you leave the oven Did on? I, leave the oven? I don't know, so, man. Yeah. Did you? This challenge, this this playthrough is going to get most of the challenges in a level. <laughs> I like how she was flipping back and forth. This, you know, there's 20 challenges in each level, and I'm pretty much going to get 18 out of them. I'm not going to do the find all 20 gaps one, mm -hmm. because, again, there's nothing to tell me where they are. Um... And it'd be way too much work. These levels are too huge. I'd just be playing around randomly. And I'm probably not going to do these super high score challenges. Because okay. just by the time you've done the rest, all you need to do is just play for longer. You just know, dig around. The super high score on this is like 600,000. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, um, but one of the bike parts you can't get until the building burns and you save it. So. Where the fuck did I park? Where the fuck did he park, he says. Yeah, where the fuck You probably did didn't park? park in a burned out building. Yeah. Alright, but doing one of the previous earlier challenges now unlocks this one, so let's see what this is. They say that hand that holds Vina controls world. Well, this hand holds Vina very tightly. Does that left at my Vina will pay. There can only be one Vina king in this town. Destroy all other carts in the area. Hurry! Classy. I, I don't know. From the studio that brought you Dave Mira too. Yeah. <laughs> what? So why did they think Dave Mira would be okay with this? Uh. I don't know. Maybe someone. I don't know. Only someone from Z Axis or from Acclaim at the time can explain this. Yeah. You know. Don't crack my nuts. Oh, don't crack my nuts. I'm not even sure. Man, what to this say, takes guys. me. You, you know, today I just graduated from college, actually, mm -hmm. uh, and this takes me back to elementary. Like he had his school, graduation ceremony like today. earlier today. Yeah, and this takes me back to elementary school. Like you know, yeah, standing around the playground. You're gonna wake up tomorrow and you're gonna be Zac Efron pretending. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's someone's gonna drop a sick Yo Mama joke in this game, and I'm gonna flash back and like get that Yo Mama off. Mm -hmm. you know? I remember that story you wrote that had that. Yeah, oh my gosh, we yeah. need to do that. For classic that this classic year. story. It's been ten years now. Jesus, yeah, um, you're right. Yeah, you can get up on the train tracks as well, which pretty much just gets you either an alternate path up onto the building where you saw the one rider, mm -hmm. or it'll actually get you to one of the bike parts. Can you get hit by the train? Yes. What will happen? You'll crash and then get reset. Can you sketch on the train? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Hmm. I haven't tested that. You should try that sometime. Yeah. WARNING! Oh, jeez. Calm the flip down. Sorry, I got really... Yeah, it tells you about you're about to exit the level. Keep going, grind around on here, and here's the last bike part. Well, for that's me, a anyway. pretty. That's a pretty cool line. Yeah. And we got the amateur challenge. So it really seems like the one thing that made this not Dave Mira 3 is the one thing that's bad about this game. Like, really. The the edginess, the yeah. crudeness, the lewdness. Yeah. The direction, basically. Motherfucker! What the fuck happened to my ride? Itching sick a chair, don't suck up! No shit, they shitting on it! I ain't blind! I wanna know what we gonna be doing about it! You know dumb shit, it's you get so sit your draw. Ah, my man! That's what I like about you, cock! You's one smart motherfucker. My man Cock here is asking you to get all up in there and chase those diarrhea-heaven motherfuckers off the wire. And just to let you know, nobody says no to the cock. What's the point of having a character named... What's his name? Long Hung Cock. Long Hung Cock. And they have uh, the guy saying birds are shitting on his car. And they're calling you motherfucker verbally, yeah. but they still censor it in the yeah. subtitles. Why? I don't know. What's the point? So I don't know. So they could throw beeps in there, maybe. 
But they also, didn't! Oh, God. They use this song by Trust Company. Trust Company is a good band. This is just their one song everyone knows, man. I gotta defend Trust Company. They're actually a good band. Ah, uh, man, I don't trust Company. Yeah, but now that we did that, this there's no dialogue, so we're gonna talk. The birds are gonna drop the facies all over the uh, the crashed um, street sweeper car. Yeah, they just dropped some PNGs on us. And... Yeah. So basically in every level you have to do 10 challenges to unlock the next level but again i'm gonna do 18 challenges in each level i'm gonna do all the uh the ones where you talk to people all the level specific ones the only ones i'll leave out again are the 20 gaps and the highest high score but otherwise i'm gonna show off the whole level so this first level the bronx is gonna be two videos pretty much every main level is gonna be two videos okay so we're gonna see the second half of the bronx next time we're gonna talk to some more people we're gonna see more crazy stuff Oh and, boy. you know, they're set up. So, <laughs> yeah, BMX Triple X is kind of a weird, wild ride, if you uh, couldn't tell. I'm really excited. This game's kind of been in the backlog for a while. Yeah, you're you're going to have a whole seat, but you're only going to need the edge. Yeah. Because it's so edgy. Yeah. Not because you'll be on the edge of your seat. You yeah. Won't. You'll be sitting back in your chair. Yeah, you'll be lounging back. Yeah. While being edgy. You'll actually get rid of the edge of your chair and just sit in the back because <laughs> there's too much edge. All right. Yeah. See you next time.